You make YouTube tutorials about game development? Yes, yes I do. That must mean you're a pretty successful game developer. I would say so. I mean, I can make games and stuff. Haven't you seen my YouTube channel? How many games have you released on Steam? Uh, how many? None? So you're telling me that you're a professional indie dev, but you haven't released a game on Steam? Well, I did release two games, one on iOS and one on Android. And there was that game about a sock. Oh, not bad. How much money did they make you? <laughs> money? Uh... We're going to actually write a freaking game. And this time, I mean it. It's not like that time I said I was gonna write a city building game, or like that time I said I was gonna write a stickman fighting game. This time, it's for real. I even have a trello board. That's when you know things are serious. Ultimately though, my goal is to create this game and release it to the Steam store and all of the console stores, well as many of them as I can get right anyway. Did you ever play Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2? There was this time trial based arena where you have to complete the stage and based on your completion time they select your difficulty level. But you could play through this level over and over to get better at it. I absolutely loved this game mode growing up and I got pretty damn good at it. A time trial based FPS, that is the game. I'm thinking you get one round on three different maps and you play against another player who plays on the same three maps and gets one round on each of them. And the average time of completion of you and the player you're playing against determines the victor. We're gonna need a main character. I'm not yet a character artist, so we'll jack a character from Mixamo. Our game should totally be about a ninja FPSing through time trials. That way we can even make a parkour and grappling mechanics and maybe some sword fighting and maybe even special abilities and powers. Uh, we'll get onto that in a second, but first, one game of Rocket League. Oof! Hmm, we need a creative name for this FPS. Yep, that'll have to do. Okay, geez, and whilst Unity is doing whatever the heck Unity is doing, I'm gonna jump on over to Blender and start setting this character up with some animations. As the trend seems to be going, I'm gonna jack more stuff from Mixamo. Simple idle, walk and run animation, I think that'll do. And it does lead us to our first real challenge. How on earth do you make a character hold a weapon in a game? See, the thing is, you have your animation set up for your character armature, and if your character is holding a weapon, it's gonna need to be animated alongside this animation, so that it looks like the character is holding the weapon. First things first, we'll steal the this pistol from a previous project of mine and bring it into our project, then we can make it a child of the right hand of our character and thanks to the magic of Blender that's all we need to do. In general though, I think it's a good decision to let Blender take care of the animations. I'm not sure about your experiences with setting up animations in Unity, but it's not the greatest amount of fun and Blender has many great tools that we can use to make this a simpler task, especially for somebody who's not an animation expert. Speaking of the beast, that is Unity. Let's bring our character in, add an animation controller, make it a child of this character controller I wrote a while ago and beautiful. Seems pretty obvious that we have a fair amount of work to do here and I'm feeling pretty positive for what's to come. I did fiddle with this for a bit and realized that animations coming in from Blender to Unity are not quite as straightforward as I would have liked them to be as you need to generate things called humanoid rigs so that you can properly blend animations together though that pretty much seems like a topic for an entire video of its own. I think that's that for this week's devlog though and come hang out next week we'll see how far we get. Until then I'll catch you on the next one.